Hi, this is Highbridge Motorhomes Devon Branch and on this beautifully mild uh, October day, this is early October 2022, we are doing a quick walk around video on this freshly purchased and absolutely splendid uh, 2011 Auto Sleeper Topaz. Now this is a proper rare, proper desirable bit of kit because um, Auto Sleeper pretty much on any scale at least we're the only company doing factory from new conversions on the VW Transporter series with a full toilet and shower at the back so the Topaz is a legendary van in motorhoming terms it came out in 1994 as soon as the long wheelbase T4 transport was launched and it ran right the way through to I think 2016 but the newer they got the rarer they are um, simply because the price point um, went so high. I mean, the last of them were 65, 68 grand new, um, which actually in today's terms doesn't sound that much money, but at the time that was an awful lot of money um, and they were a very expensive van to produce. So, uh, yeah, they're very rare. Uh, you'll see quite a few 07s, 08s, 09s out there. What you don't see are very many 2011 onwards ones. Now, anything 2010 onwards should be based on the VW T5.1 transporter, which is important because it's a lot more modern both in its looks and its engine characteristics than the T5 that ran through to 2009. So this is a T5.1 based Auto Sleeper Topaz. Auto Sleeper, Britain's oldest motorhome manufacturer, they only convert from new, they're based in the Cotswolds in Willersley, beautiful place. They're still going today, uh, still going strong in fairness to it and renowned for British craftsmanship basically so uh, yeah these topaz is fantastic news we're really excited to be able to buy this one um so she's a volkswagen based auto sleeper topaz from 2011 it's automatic you know topaz is a rare but an automatic topaz in a good color that is gold dust rare it's got three seat belts despite what the window sheet says uh, it's a two berth as they all wear 3.2 tons you can drive it on your car license based on the volkswagen transport t5.1 um turbo diesel now it has done a little bit of miles this one the good news is it was one owner almost all of its life and it's got a um, regimented full service history and it's just had its cam belt walk pump and ancillaries changed as well um, now it has done 96,000 miles now if this was a 10 year old car with 96,000 miles that would be low mileage if it was a 10 year old van that would be stupendously low mileage these will do biblical miles um, I drive a Volkswagen Passat same engine uh, 177,000 miles and knock on wood she is absolutely tight as a drum and this is of course on the commercial variant of that engine so yeah no problem there but it is priced to reflect that at 38.95 overall length 5.2 meters it's not 4.89 james if you're watching this who does the window sheets please take note uh, body width including the mirrors 1.99 not including the mirrors about 1.8 narrows van on the market to have a full toilet and shower height isn't 2.01 meters someone's used the um uh, uh, the trooper measurements i think on this uh, it'll be about 2.6 meters price is 38.95 now if this was uh, a 45,000 mile van you'd probably see it up for 43, 44 to 95 so price reflects the mileage but the condition is fantastic the provenance is great one owner all of its life until this year uh, when a lovely guy from Wales bought it we've bought a couple of vans off him he's really sound as a pound um, changes the vans quite often and sells them to us so we just went and collected it so it's looking really really smart in I don't even know what colour it is it's like a sandy grey beigey grey grey sort of metallic very modern full color coding smart five spoke alloy wheels uh, color coded wing mirrors so you've got your fresh water tank drain there uh, tinted windows all the way around uh, topaz was so expensive to build because they had to put their own high roof on it not use the uh, rather ugly volkswagen one so it's got a proper grp one piece roof with skylights and windows all double glazed which are opening within it we can fit your wind out canopy if you want uh, fresh water tank on board fill point there coming around to the back so this is a long wheelbase transporter she's got a reversing camera on the back there cutouts there to allow you to fit a tailgate mounted bike rack if you want and reversing sensors as well it's the 140 horsepower uh, dsg automatic standard engine was 102 but you couldn't have that with an auto so this is the 140 which is the sweet spot 
what you don't want is the 180 by turbo it's the only unreliable engine in the range but this isn't that which is good news so at the back we've got a full toilet and shower in a Volkswagen camper van as I say it's, it's unique we'll have a better look at this from the inside but you've got walkthrough access from the back there this looks like a toilet cassette dump point it isn't it's actually your uh, gas locker so it's got a couple of well it's got one camping gas bottle and it's got a a little yellow bottle which looks like a refillable one but I'm not so sure I think it is a refillable bottle I've never seen a refillable bottle of that size before um, but it is that's a bonus so you've got one refillable bottle you can fill up with LPG gas at a um, LPG gas pump which you can do all over Europe very very cheaply uh, and you've got one camping gas bottle um, but you will fit calor in there if you want to go up to sort of 3.9 4.5 kilo calor gas bottles you can do that bodywork amazingly good it is dirty at the moment it's just come in but once we've washed it off there's no bodywork damage on it at all that i've seen uh, obviously normal proviso it might have a little stone chip somewhere that i've missed but if it has i've missed it fridge vents for your three-way fridge freezer um flue for your uh, gas and electric hot water system and your mains hook up there so you've got mains hook up and a leisure battery is that a scratch or a cobweb that's a cobweb Let's have a little look at the cab spec. So we've got electric windows and mirrors, heated mirrors, uh, electric fold mirrors as well, posh. Uh, we've got some genuine fake stick-on wood from a stick-on wood tree in the stick-on wood forest. We've got cab air conditioning. We've got the wonderful Volkswagen DSG automatic gearbox, which is just fantastic. Very economical as well. There's no gearbox drag because it's a twin clutch semi-automatic gearbox speak to us more for these geeky things and we'll explain more if you don't know already but it's very very good very economical very quick to change we've got heated rear windscreen in the tailgate which is really cool uh, we've got a cd player now if you want to swap this out for a double din unit with apple carplay or nav we can get it done for you at cost price so there's a whole world of off the peg ones available i swapped the one in my passat out very reasonably priced for a nav unit with uh, with bluetooth and stuff for a few hundred quid but pay a bit more for one that doesn't come from ebay and you can get a pioneer one for 600 odd fitted we've got cruise control so you've got cruise control air conditioning electric everything we've got cab windscreen blinds you don't see that on the older topazes either that's really cool uh, you can't get side window blinds so it will have um, suction silver screens for the side ones because they're not available as far as i'm aware for the t5.1 so that's it from the outside yeah really really good it's it's a real nice van this and rare i don't think you'd find another one for sale or if you do it'd be much more money than this anyway so having a look at the inside so we've got the soft close doors there we go never quite worked out the point of them i suppose you don't have to slam your door quite so hard to close it disturb the campsite so we've got a little table here that one there goes on there and we've got one forward facing seat belted seat twin swivel cab seats and uh, a slide out sofa so sleeping wise twin singles or a double bed simply slide this out to join up with the cab seat the other side put your handbrake on off even with it in park obviously spin the driver's seat round put your feet on that that's twin single beds and if you want to turn it into the sort of doubly type thing that just pulls across to there there's bits of storage under there there's bits of storage under here as well there's also a second table, which lives in that table leg down there. So I'll just jump in and, and close the door. We'll have a little pirouette so you can see your bathroom to the back, your twin-sided galley kitchen there. Remember, this is a VW camper. It's the same length as a Range Rover. It really fits a lot in. Then you've got your comfortable lounge, and it is a comfortable lounge, in fairness to it. You've got these little cushions here, which I think go on the cab seats to flatten them out as well. Very, very good. And so two high level windows and a hecky roof light up there, two roof lights, two um, lights in the roof as well. Good bit of storage over there. So you've got your silver screens for darkening and you've got your main table there, which goes on this leg here. So you can have that to there, another one there. So you don't need to have three or four people sat around dining with no problem at all. Interior condition is excellent. Auto sleeper use, superb quality. Uh, upholstery good quality wood as well concertina blinds and fly screens on all the windows we've got a little cosmetic crack there that's going to happen it's only in fact it's not even gone through but a little cosmetic crack in the trim because of the heat probably let's have a little sit down there and look down the van over there is your controls for your diesel heating system so it's got 
uh, blown air diesel powered heating super powerful um, these are very warm vans anyway so you won't be cold down to quite extreme temperatures underneath are there there's those two little red light up switches and that will be I don't know what that will be <laughs> one will be your water heater on electric maybe the other one's a fridge isolator but uh, anyway Richard our handover man uh, has actually been in the trade since the topaz came out pretty much so he's handed over loads of these he'll show you that on collection little reading lights up there and we've got your kitchen so we've got a nice deep sink with I think they call this gorilla glass on top of it so you can use it as a chopping board Across from there, you've got a little two burner hob. Again, concertina blinds there. Underneath the two burner hob, you've got a cupboard that I can't open, which is probably closed for a reason. Then you've got a nice deep kitchen storage underneath of there. Opposite there is your three-way fridge freezer. Uh, these have been around since the dawn of time. I have the exact same fridge freezer in my van. It works really well. Mine's from 2001. It's fine. So you've got a decent size, little, well, decent little freezer compartment. Shelves on these always go a bit corroded looking. You can replace them if you want. It's only cosmetic. It's not something we do because they all do it. It's in keeping with the van. But if you want to order some replacements, you can. And then they'll corrode a bit as well. So this will run off mains electric. It will run off the engine when you're driving. Or it will run off gas if you're not on the mains when you're stopped. I'll put that on the breather second to stop it going mouldy. A bit of under sink storage. And then a nice unit there for some tins and cereal and stuff like that. We've got a couple of high level storage cupboards on either side. And I've got your bathroom which we saw to the back there with your bench style toilet uh, there with a big cassette. Flip down sink with a hot and cold tap and your shower curtain. There's also storage in there. I think the catch must be gone on this one but there'll be a wardrobe with hanging space in there and a high level vanity unit and then you've got a uh, opening rear tailgate obviously so you can uh, shower al fresco if you like just take the shower outside good for hosing things off and a roof skylight so this is her she is our 2011 or oh, the only other thing to mention it does have a little flip down tiny little avtex tv up there it's got a roof mounted tv aerial um so we don't check or guarantee that but we'll leave it on um it works it works it doesn't it doesn't it's quite an old tv but they are digital so it should do the job oh there's me up there um so this is our 2011 auto sleeper topaz it's done 96,000 miles but it's got a full documented service history it's had one owner almost all of its life and it's a lovely lovely van and it's automatic and it's 38995 find another one yeah they are rare they sell quick last couple we sold were 08s at like 35 and an 09 at 37,000 on the um on the old t5 cab so this is the cheapest t5.1 topaz automatic i've ever seen anyway and it's also really really good so this is us we are highbridge motorhomes devon that's our number 01626832792 this will sell very quickly it's not salesman rubbish it genuinely will so if you're interested ring us straight away um you can contact us through the website, hybridcaravans.co.uk. You can just come in and see us. Uh, we are at Teen Grace, Newton Abbott, Devon, which is just off the busiest road in South Devon, the South Devon Expressway between Exeter and Plymouth. Uh, so we're right in the motorway network. We've got intercity train station, airports. We've got another branch in Somerset. This van will be supplied with a major engine service. All the oils and filters and liquids will be changed. If it hadn't just been done, we'd have done the cam belt, water pump and ancillaries, but it's literally just been done. Full habitation service, uh, full detail valor, and a 12 month warranty, which is in house with us. We cover work done uh, off site if you are far away from us, and uh, it's not an insurance backed warranty with stupid terms and conditions. So there's no benefit to us of fudging a vehicle through that we're not confident in and leaving a dodgy warranty company to pick up the pieces because we warrant it out of our pocket. That's very old fashioned and it's very, very good. So, Auto Sleeper Topaz 2011 at Highbridge Motorhomes. Devon Branch. Thank you very much. Goodbye.